Hey everybody, welcome to Project Zomboid. This is a game a number of you have been telling me to play, or that I should play, for quite a while now. This game's been in development for years, and uh, I do remember checking it out way back in the day, and I keep kind of looking in on it every once in a while. I get really tempted to buy it, but I always seem to be in the middle of some other things. But just recently, I thought, you know, I want to do a couple things different, try a couple new things, and uh, this is one of the games I picked up. I also grabbed another game, I'll be showing you that one later, but let's just jump into this. Got my character made up a bit here, let's jump to the next step. You've got a different uh, occupations here to choose from, and they give you these traits on the far right. So, I've, I looked through these earlier, and I think what we'll do is we're going to go with, um, let's see... Yeah, kind of like that, but the ranger was kind of nice because he's got this outdoorsman. You do have a construction worker too. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. We'll go kind of defensive. Thick skinned. Now you can go over here and add traits, but it costs points. So I've got points to spend. I have zero. So I can still grab something. For example, I could take strong, but I'm at negative six. I'm going to have to make up for that by taking some of these, um, I don't know, these uh, kind of. They're, they're downsides, right? <laughs> I don't know exactly what they call these, but um, I think what we're going to do is just go ahead and remove this, and we'll stick with what we've got here. Ba -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> these are the end times. There was no hope for survival. No hope. This is how you die. in case you forgot. Okay, so here we are. We've got um, me with no shirt. <laughs> so I have pants and shoes, those are already on. And this is the house we're starting in. Now, I did look at a survival guide for this and um, I kind of wanted to know, okay, what should I be considering? And one of the first things is to find a safe house. So we've got this house here, but I think what we'll do is we're going to kind of raid this place and then we will head out and uh, to some of the nearby houses. So let's see here. So we've got this kind of floor icon up here and I have uh, messed around with the game. I try to get a, a handle on the controls and everything. So I know a little bit about what's going on here. So you can see the different, um, the different objects that we can interact with here. And of course we can click them and see what's in them. Nothing in those. And there's some things in the refrigerator here. And I can kind of pin this to keep it open. Um, so let's see. In the refrigerator, we're going to go ahead and take these guys. I just want all of them, so I'm going to loot all here. Okay, so we've got a bunch of food. Uh, let's see. That was from this guy. Doesn't look like there's anything else. These guys didn't have anything. Now what you can do is uh, you can right click to interact with some things. So I can right click the sink and, and drink if I wanted to. Got a little timer there. You'll see statuses appear on the far right hand side of the screen. Letting you know when you're hungry, when you're thirsty, those kind of things. When you're tired, you do have to deal with those kinds of things. Um, boredom is another thing you have to deal with. Let's go ahead and take the duffel bag. We'll take the sheets. One of the things you can do with sheets is use them to cover up the windows. So we do want those. And we will take the sleeping tablets. Okay, there's nothing in here, right? It's not coming up, oddly enough. But that's okay. So let's see. We do have another door here. This goes into the bathroom. Nothing in here. I could drink from the toilet. <laughs> let's not do that. Uh, okay, so like I said, I think we're going to go out and explore. Now, one of the things I don't know about the game is if any th if things get worse at night. I don't know about that. But what I do want to do is go outside and check a nearby uh, house. So one of the things you have to do in this game is you do have to watch your back. If I had a zombie right in front of me and I kind of turned this way, he would disappear. If you hold control, you can spin around and look in all directions, so that's kind of cool. So you can see my first status update up at the top right says that I am in the rain. I need to get out of the rain or I will catch a cold and get sick. So I, don't, I guess I don't want to be out here too long. We're going to cruise over here and check the garbage. 
Uh, there is a magazine. We'll go ahead and grab that. So maybe what we'll end up doing is just kind of staying in because it looks like it might be kind of far with how my home is fenced in here. It may be uh, quite the trip to the next house. You can't really see around the gate there. So we may close ourselves in uh, while it rains and just kind of get things situated here and close the door. There we go. Oh, with me inside, please. <laughs> cool. So yeah, let's see. We do have two sheets. We have four windows. I can't possibly block all of them just yet. Probably not too big of a concern. Um, so let's see. Let's see here. We did have the pillow. Now it is it is dark out, right? Let's go back out. I think it was. So we're at 12. So one of the things we can do is go ahead and crash for the night. Let's actually see if we can do that. Can we sleep? We're not tired of, to sleep. So we could take the sleeping pills and just crash. But I think what we'll do is we're going to organize some things. Let's check out the inventory here. I do have the duffel bag. So I think think what we want to do, and I seem to recall reading in the guide, was that you kind of um, separate things into different bags. I don't have any kind of weapon yet. Uh, nothing that can be used as a weapon. So I think what we'll do is separate... Um, we could move this, the food into the duffel bag. Lemons, orange soda, let's see, kind of non-essentials maybe. Um, I guess that would mean pretty much everything. Move those in there. And the magazine. I guess we can keep the sleeping pills on me. Okay, cool. Well, I think the rain stopped, it seems. So, let's kind of jump back out here. Yeah. We're going to see if we can find the next home. So, I am walking right now. We can uh, run which will get us tired pretty quickly. So you kinda wanna be careful about that. I don't have a weapon, so at this point I am going to be fully avoiding zombies as I run into them. I'm not gonna be sticking around to fight them. So there, there is a mailbox here. I don't know if... Uh, I don't wanna come into here too deep, but... There is a house here. Excellent. So let's, let's check out this place. Alright, we are getting hungry. We could go ahead and eat real quick. We'll right-click the apple. Okay. We're going to get up here and take a peek inside. Looks pretty good. Now, okay, it does have an upstairs. Excellent. And the door's open. That makes things easier. Hmm. Sure is quiet. Too quiet. Let's go upstairs. This might be our safe house. I like to have a lot of room. I think it'd be cool to have a lot of space. Okay, everything looks cool. I just kind of want to clear everything and make sure there's not kind of a zombie just hanging out here. <laughs> he made this his safe house. Okay, and we have this kitchen area. There's though there is a door. No, that's a refrigerator. Okay, so we've got one door. Now we have one in the back. Let's go ahead and step out here. Take a peek around. It looks pretty it looks pretty quiet. We do have some kind of road or path going back there. But yeah, we're we're looking pretty good. I think this might be our safe house. We're gonna have to go through and gather up all the supplies, see what we've got. See what we have here. Can't do anything with the desk, I guess. Okay, now we have food. Now one of the things too we need to keep in mind is that food does spoil. And so while we have electricity, we are gonna wanna keep things in the refrigerator. Uh, at least things that need to be in there. We'll throw the lemons in there. And the soda. I am thirsty, so we're gonna go ahead and grab a drink from the uh, faucet here. Right here. Drink. Okay, so we've got the food put away. Nothing we can do with those. Let's close this back door. <laughs> no need to be letting any zombies in that easily. Whoops. Fell down the stairs there. 
Okay, we have some shelves here with a magazine. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and drop ours in there. Kind of pin these open here. Let's see. Drop the magazine. I think that was all I had, right? Yes. The other shelf has a book and a magazine, so that's fine. We're going to leave those there. That's going to be our entertainment. So like I said, you've got a number of things you have to deal with. Being tired, um, being hungry, being thirsty, you can get sick, and one of those is being bored. So you need to, that's what the magazines and books are for. They keep you from getting bored. So here's our weapon. Our very first weapon is a baseball bat, and we just went ahead and equipped that in the primary. We're going to grab the sheet. Um, we're going to go ahead and wear the vest. Grab the lighter. So one of the things you can do with clothes, and I'm assuming, no, maybe not with a pillow. Okay, I guess it is a pillow, not a pillow case. Is you can rip them into uh, bandages, and we're going to need those. We're not going to wear a skirt, so let's go ahead and rip those into bandages. And we may need the sweater if it gets cold. I don't know. We'll leave the vest. Um, and we'll leave the sweater here. We can kind of remember that we've got that in there if need be. Let's check this out. Grab another sheet. We've got another baseball bat, and that's interesting. So your weapons can be destroyed. One of the things I'm not really sure about in the game is how you deal with the secondary slot. I mean, I can equip this to the secondary slot, but I don't know. I had something in there before when I was uh, playing around with this uh, with the controls, and it wasn't very clear to me. Whoops, didn't mean to loot that. It wasn't very clear to me how you could maybe switch between the first and secondary. So, yeah, I didn't see that in the control options when I brought that up. Let's go ahead and just grab one of those. Okay, so we've got a good number of things we're carrying around. but And we're probably going to be slow moving around in here a bit because I'm, I'm going to be grabbing so much stuff. But I'm grabbing things and I'm going to be reorganizing. So that's that's the plan. Okay, there wasn't anything in here. Okay. Alright, so first things first, we're going to probably put sheets on the bottom floor windows. So we can walk right up to a window and right click it, and we've got you know a couple options. We can open it or add a sheet. And once we add a sheet, we can right click that and say close the curtains. Some windows in some houses already have curtains, so you can just walk up and close those but um, others don't. So we're going to add this. Close the curtains. So it's probably pretty obvious to you why we're doing this. Um, this kind of keeps the light from going outside which can draw the attention of zombies. Now unfortunately I can't seem to get to this window close enough to put the sheet up. I'm pretty sure I have enough sheets on me. Okay, maybe that's the problem. No, we have them right there. Uh-huh. So this desk is kind of preventing me from putting that in there. At least that's my assumption. Well, we'll have to leave that one. That's fine. We'll do what we can with the other ones here. Actually, look at that. It won't let me do it here either, even though I have the sheets. We're going to go ahead and move those out my main inventory. See if that's the problem. There we go. You can do this, Weem. Okay, so let's see if this will go ahead and work over here now. There we go. Oh, is he going outside to do it? Interesting. Come on, there you go. Okay, so we have almost all the windows closed in. We've got these two in the back, but that's okay. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and look at what where we're at again. We've got bandages. We do have the bat. Oh, that's good. We looked. We want to equip that. And we do have extra pants. I don't necessarily need to take these with me. Because we have the extra kind of sweater upstairs in the bedroom, just to kind of make things easier to remember, we're going to go ahead and drop off the uh, pants in here. I think it was in this drawer. No. Must have been here. Sometimes it gets a little finicky clicking these guys. There we go. 
There's the sweater and a vest, and we'll drop. Oh, pin that thing. Okay, we'll drop the pants in there. Wait a second. Oh, I'm forgetting. These are my pants. I'm actually wearing. We could put a vest in there, but it's funny you do have to put kind of everything in though, and then you kind of grab one and wear it. Okay, pants, shoes, we got the vest, we have bandages, we have our primary weapon. So we are set to go exploring a bit. Now it is getting a little later. We are both hungry and thirsty. So one of the things you want to do when you're exploring, from what I've read, is to bring containers that you fill with water. We don't really have that right now, so we're not going to want to go too far. Of course, if we are looking in houses, we can probably expect there to be sinks. Um, so let's go ahead and eat something. We'll just go ahead and eat the cabbage. And then we're going to sleep. So we don't need to grab any food yet. We're going to grab food when we're on our way out the door and exploring. But for now, let's go ahead and we can sleep in a chair. We can sleep in a bed. doesn't really matter. As far as I know, they are all equally effective, <laughs> hopefully. So we're going to go ahead and sleep for the night in this chair in the dark. Well, apparently I could not sleep. I ended up waking up here early, early in the morning. Um, ideally, there would be a light out. So I think what we're going to do, well, we can speed up time with the options that we have up here in the right. So that's something that we can do. Um, let's go ahead and see what that does. Let's see how much faster this goes. Okay, how about this one? A little bit faster. And this one may go really fast. Let's see. Okay, it does. Let's go ahead and... Oh, let's dial it back. <laughs> now we're bored. We, just, we basically stood... In, how, how creepy is that? We just stood in the living room with a baseball bat for hours on end. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and... I don't know. We'll eat a lemon. We will... We're going to grab one orange soda to take with us. We'll grab the strawberry to take with us. So there we have a drink and food. And for now, we'll just drink out of here. And to cure the boredom, we're going to run upstairs really quick and just read from our collection. There we go. If I can select it. Okay, we'll read this book. Cool. Still says I'm bored. <laughs> well, we won't be bored. We're going to be out and, and active and uh, searching this place. So let's go ahead and close the door now what we'll do I think is maybe see if we can follow this road back here and see if this takes us anywhere now when I hold control I can not only spin around but I can actually extend my mouse I can push it forward and we can see so we've got a road out there um, if I go back this way it looks like it might just go into more of the uh, trees okay so we do have a zombie there hmm now dealing with them is very dangerous very dangerous it's very easily to get very easily it's very easy to get injured and when you get injured it's hard to recover I do have bandages but and we do have the thick skin because of the character we chose but if I can help it I'd prefer to avoid them and avoid them entirely so let's kind of take a peek out this way and see if we can maybe walk around him so I can hold control while I walk too okay see there we go we got another house we do have another zombie up there but again we're gonna try to avoid them let's take a peek this is a long and narrow home I'll try to get up close and take a peek inside okay looks calm looks very clean door is locked and now it's raining of course so we're gonna probably crawl in a window if we can we popped it open we'll climb through oh I just set an alarm off that's really bad <laughs> that's gonna draw zombies and we're just gonna head back in the direction we came from because in the survival guide <laughs> it says that's a good idea that alarm will draw many zombies from what I've seen from what I've read So we're going to hold up inside for a while until the rain dies down and that alarm will stop. We're going to wait for both of those to go away. 
Okay, the rain dissipated. The alarm stopped. So we're going to cruise back over here. Again, walking. We don't want to exhaust ourselves. So one of the things we'll eventually be able to do as well is build barricades. We can't really do that just yet. So that's going to be one of the things we want to do to improve the safety of our home. Okay, we've got a zombie hanging out there. Try to walk around. Whoa. Okay, so we've got a few hanging out there, unfortunately. The alarm looks like it did draw some in. I would have liked to have raided that home, but it looks like that's not going to happen. Unfortunately. I might be able to sneak around them. And you can walk through the woods. It's very slow, and as you can see, it's it's hard to see, though. So you could really kind of surprise some zombies. We're going to kind of come busting through here. Okay. Got one on the road. Now, another thing from what I've read is that you actually begin at the, the easternmost area of the map. And with the road being kind of busted down like this, I do see some barricades there. I'm wondering if this kind of goes to the edge of the map at some point. It may. So I don't necessarily want to go in that direction. Um, I really want to go this way. But I don't want to draw his attention. You can see as I turn my back to him, he disappears. Something you got to watch out for. So I think we're going to see if we can try to go between these guys. Hopefully not draw his attention. Okay, so here's another home. It's excellent. Let's walk out here a bit. Okay. It's another long and skinny one. Gonna look, it looks like this one's this side is clear, this room. As is this room. Now I could go around the other side, but I don't want to draw any attention if there happens to be zombies. We're just going to go ahead and pop this window open, if possible. Oh, I can't seem to select it. Alright, so we're going to go around. Swing kind of wide around here. Doors locked. Can't open the window, at least that window. Or that one. Hmm. Now, one of the things you can do is break in. You can break a window. It is loud, though, and that draws their attention. So, looks like all of this is locked up. One of the things, as well, is I don't want to get too far away from our safe house just yet. We're not really equipped to survive long. We've got enough food for maybe a day. <laughs> so, that would be bad. Um, now, having said that, there I don't see any zombies nearby, so we may bust a window. We may just bust a window. Or we could go check out another home. Maybe that's the better idea. Let's creep over here. It looks like there's a light inside. Okay. No zombies. These homes all have the same layout. Boy, everything's all locked up in these places. Okay. We'll try some of these windows again. No, no. Whoa, okay. That is a whole lot of zombies over there. So, we are not going to be breaking anything in this house. We'll go ahead and check the garbage, though. Okay. But we may break something in this one. There seems to be quite a, bit of, um, quite a bit of distance there. So we may get a little risky. Let's go ahead and walk down, because I think I'm going to break the window on this end. We're going to walk down and just kind of peek over here. I see a fence. Yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and break maybe this window over here. Come on. There you go. Bust that thing. Do I have to break it out more? <laughs> Come on. It's a little hard to aim here. There we go. We are in. Hopefully didn't draw any attention. We can look out the windows. Seems, seems pretty safe. 
We do have a uh, refrigerator here and a stove. Cool. We like food. It does say I'm thirsty, but let's drink real quick. Okay, what else do we have in here? Can't select that, it seems. Uh, sure. We'll grab all those. This is something here, but I can't seem to select it. It's interesting. I think I picked a bl bad place to go into. This this may not have been worth it. <laughs> it's very small. There's there's really nothing in here. We did get some food, so that's cool. Um, let's see. There you go. We're gonna go ahead and head back. Um, we don't want it to get dark or anything. Whoa, hello. We don't want to take any chances. 